fool. Help an old feeble woman. What's wrong? To their night blasphemers, pox taken, profane the shrine to Verna the Merciful. Shrine's gotta be repaired, else Verna will take umbrage. Our cows will croak, kitties will be covered in warts, and our dogs will get the mange. Warts and mange? Sounds dangerous. Fine, I'll help you. Done. The good gods have sent ye to me. Someone to repair their shrines from this day on. Look, already got a trade. I'm a witcher. Restoring traditional roadside structures in wood? Just not my specialty. Fighting evil? That's a witcher's calling. And vandals are worse than beasts. Fine. I see any damaged shrines? I'll take care of them. Won't go out of my way, though. Nothing's out of the way in these parts, and the gods will guide you. Let's turn this one pale. Let's go. If a man deploys a black sun, spot a cider for you? Or a bit of dried curd? My lad, it's not exactly burst him, but what I got, sure to please. Like to take a look.
Ouch! Baron home? Depends who's asking. A witcher. Wanna talk to him? Huh. Yeah. And I wanna plow the lovely Queen Cero. Seen this man before. In at the crossroads. You was there not so long ago. Thought you were supposed to go your separate way. Nice and all. It led me here. Gotta talk to the Baron. Oh, I. What about? Something important. His ears only. Fine. Lodrin, let him in. If he makes any trouble, well, we outnumber him. Open the gate. Sergeant! Ardle! Witcher, to see the Baron. Don't want no disturbances. That clear? What do you think? Guard called you a sergeant. You a Temerian soldier? Not your concern, mate. Deserter. Temerian army don't exist no more. So what are you all doing here? Had a choice after the Black Ones thrashed us. Let it lie and try to lead more lives. Or continue to resist, join the guerrillas and fight for our beloved Temeria till death do us part. We chose the former. And the Baron your commander? Hmm. Yeah. Commander. Zima, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. Oh, how we danced, how we twirled. <laughs> oh! One, two, three, one, two, three. Hey! <laughs> Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Look at that. Didn't even stay for tea. In spite of all that blabbering about how cultured the nation is. Rumors rarely find confirmation in reality, especially the ones about foreigners. <laughs> right you are. I'm... I know who you are. Believe I also know why you've come. We'll talk inside. Make yourself at home. It would have put the bloody vodka. Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltes dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell. Who's a loyal Temerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Strenger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. 
She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Sent some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. You can come down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet, but I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail, but then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it, and I lost my way. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustedly horrific. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come. I'll help you up. Oh. <sighs> Good. 
You can come out now. with immense claws. Why, you're brave. My father can even do that. Mine could do a lot more. Come. Look! There's something there. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Let's see. Oh, his liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? Hmm. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. His chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Hmm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except, he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He... had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when do children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, bull's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. settlement nearby. You lead. It 
It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. <laughs> Give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I. Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. God! This man's under my protection. No one's to bother him in any way. Don't stare. I've not grown horns. Treat it as a token of my good faith. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Can't start searching till I know what they look like. Tamara, my daughter, turned 19 in the spring. Slender lass, about yay tall, comes up to my shoulders. Beautiful eyes, green like her mother's. My wife, Anna, has two score winters behind her, that she'd never admit it. Dark hair, thick as tar. 
Keeps it tied up in a bun. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away. But they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my bam, daughter loved animals. Bam, bam, bam. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wolf on the other side of the wall? No, we know. <laughs> you see it there? Oh, what's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Oh, the bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. and his wife <laughs> look happy enough what's this ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole and what's on the other side mangled bit of candlestick Someone smashed it against the wall and broke clear into the wardrobe. Getting interesting. Might be more traces of fighting. Gotta look around. Huh. Rest of the candlestick. And wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me.
Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else, though. Hmm, spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman, protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. You, white one, look like you got soused last night, too. Done poking around. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled, too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air loose? Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Ought to have a chat with this peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. Some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? 